We are reading from the Faces of Love, the uh, Poets of Saraz. And this, we're reading a woman Persian poet, Jahan Malik Khatun. For most of these long nights, I stay awake and go to bed as dawn begins to shake. I think that eyes that haven't seen their friend might get some sleep then. This is a mistake. Hmm. I like that one. Mm -hmm. First line. How long will you be like a cypress tree and lean your lovely head away from me? Sorrow is all you've ever brought to me. I will not ask how long I am to be. The knocker on your door you do not see. The iron ring you pass obviously. My pillows made of absence while you are free to taste another's love for getting me. If I could follow your curl scent, I'd see a way to let their night envelope me. Since you have left me to this misery, tears and a heart and fire are all of me. I don't deserve you, but I long to see the sunlight of your face shine here for me. Although you've shown that you don't care for me, my still soul still wishes you prosperity. Hmm. Oh God, I beg you, open wide the gates of heaven for one to whom a heavenly nature has been given. Grant her a place in paradise. And may the throngs of lovely Horis welcome her where she belongs. Keep far from her this world's desires, its grief and spite. Bestow your grace in her and fill her soul with light. <laughs> We're doing Saturday morning <clears throat> poetry reading with the Iron Bird. <laughs> There's the Iron Bird one. What's the iron bird? <laughs> Each new flower opens in the morning light, filling my art with glory and delight. Even before its perfume reaches me, destruction's winds have swept it from my sight. <laughs> my heart will take no drug to dull this pain. The seal of sorrow set and will remain. My heart will never tire of your sweet presence. Absence is all my heart can now contain. Uh -huh. A reading from the lady poet, John Malik Khatun. Mm -hmm. She's, I don't know much about her because we haven't read the introduction, but she's, I read, that she's maybe, she is the most, uh, one of the most popular women poets in Iran. Uh -huh. I didn't know my value then when I was young so long ago and now that I've played my part out here what is it that I know I know that now that both of them have gone life's good and bad pass by as quickly in my youth as dawn's first breeze forsakes the morning sky how many ardent birds of longing then were lured down from the air by my two ringlet curls and coils to be held trapped and helpless there. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Stop. Continue what? Continue later? Yeah. No, don't you put yourself now. Don't read. Well, I have to stop this introduction. We just had an introduction to the cartoon. Uh -huh. She's a woman poet, Rama, a city in Iran, Saraz, where Hafez was. <laughs> I don't know their relationship, and I don't know anything about her. My specialty is not to know. <laughs> but maybe I'll read the introduction later on. Huh? 
reading a uh, Persian poetry translated by Dick Davis from the Penquan, uh, Penquan there, classics. <laughs> Very good.